scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. I give myself away. place tonight hallelujah we're not just this is not just for fun hallelujah i didn't even rehearse with them to know what it is that i want to share this night hallelujah so inside and outside i want us to take a moment of deep worship can you take it higher we're going to sing this song and that song i give myself away i want you to flow and worship I want us to lose ourselves in this place because there are many things that we need to let go tonight. Many things. Your troubles, your sorrows, 
thoughts of marriage increase success just let it go tonight as you worship forget about every load you brought tonight Lord, we surrender. for you I didn't realize when I allowed my problems I'm not denying the fact that the problems are much pray and say Lord I release it Lord we surrender hallelujah go ahead and pray say Lord I release everything I release the pain. I release the disappointment. It didn't work out as I planned, but you are still God. It didn't work out the way I expected it. I thought the admission would have come, but you are still God. The marriage didn't come as at when I expected it. The business didn't work out, but you are still God. My ministry did not experience the increase, but you are still God. Come on, break open in his presence. Tell him, Lord, take this pain. Release your everything in his presence. Inside and outside, make sure you participate. The Bible says, laying aside every weight. There are all kinds of weights in this place tonight. Challenges in our families, your personal progress in life, your academics, your spiritual life. 
Come on, just pray it away. Pray it away. As you pray in tongues, let it go. There's no money in your pocket, but there is something at work in your spirit. There's no money in your bank account, but you are still more than a conqueror. Something bad happened to you, but his horn is still exalted in your life. Job said, though he slay me, yet will I praise him. He said, all the days of my appointed time, I will wait till my change comes. Till my change comes. The wife said, do you still hold your integrity? Why don't you curse God and die? And he said, why do you speak like these stupid women? Though he slay me, yet will I praise him. I choose to praise you. I choose to worship. It's a decision. There's no reason. I may not give any reason for it. But I choose to worship. We worship you. Let all the earth worship him. 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 His presence is mighty in this place. Just worship him. He's your maker. Many of you may not understand what is going on in this place. This is called Koinonia. It's an intimacy. The more I know you, the more I want to know you. The more I see your face, the more I want to see it again. The more I hear your voice, the more I want to hear it again. The more I hear your word, the more I want to hear it again. Jesus, more. Of you, Jesus, more of you. Come on, sing, Jesus, more of you, Jesus, more of you, Jesus. Express your love to your maker. We're almost losing the art of worshiping the body of Christ. We have done well with prayer. This is the secret. The protocol of his presence. Jesus, more of you. Jesus, more of you. Jesus, more of you. Jesus.
Hallelujah. I love you forever. 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 Sing, I love you, Lord. I love you forever. I love you. I'll serve you, Lord. I'll serve you forever. I'll serve you forever. I'll serve you forever. Hallelujah. Lord, I'm not here to complain about my many struggles. But by your spirit and your grace I'm confident you'll solve them But I'm here to say I love you I'm here to say I adore you That's why I'm here tonight to say I love I love to love you Lord I love to love you I love you Lord I love you Lord it's from the bottom my heart, I love you, Lord. Come on, sing it. It's from the bottom of my heart. I love you. Sing, I love you. From the bottom of my heart. Sing, I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord. Sing, I praise you. Sing, I praise you. A lot happens when we worship Him. It's a sacrifice of praise. Oh Lord, we feel your presence mighty in this place. And we give you all the praise. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. There is none beside you. Mighty and majestic, the multi-breasted one.
Who is there like you? Oh Lord, you who created us. Come on, worship Koinonia in your likeness. Who is there? I'm telling you, I feel the presence of Jesus in this place. Oh Lord, I know when His presence shows up. It's an honor, Lord, to stand and worship. Come on, we lift our hands. We lift our hands to the great I am. Who was and who is and is to come. I lift my hands to the great I am. Who can compare with you? One more time, I lift my hands. I lift my hands to the great I am. Who was and who is and is to come. I lift my hands to the great I am. description you're too marvelous for words you're too wonderful for comprehension I'm worshiping him like nothing ever seen or heard the presence of Jesus is in this place who can grasp your infinite wisdom? Who can fathom the depths of your love? You are beautiful beyond description, majesty. And thrown on high. Come on, sing. I stand. I stand in awe of you. I stand. I stand in awe of you. Lord, I stand. I stand in awe of you. Only God. All praise is due. I stand. Hallelujah. Make my life that it be the temple of your spirit. And let my spirit fill the world of your embrace. Let me be a holy habitation. Sing it from your heart. Where your spirit is pleased to dwell. Oh Lord, I want to know. I want to offer. A sacrifice of praise Fear this day Oh, come let us
Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him. We worship you and we adore you tonight. I know that you are walking in the midst of your people. Jesus is in this place. Not the Holy Spirit, not angels. I know when his presence is in a building. Jesus, we thank you. We pray, make your presence known. Father, make your presence known. Lord Jesus, make your presence known in our hearts. This is what I pray tonight. I pray, make your presence known. Make your presence known. Make your presence known in our hearts. We thank you for your presence. You have come to reveal yourself to us. And we embrace that presence. Walk among us tonight. Walk among us tonight. Plant a fire in our hearts. We choose to honor you with our lives with our hearts and everything that we have we're not in a hurry lord we bless you for your mighty mighty presence i'm telling you the presence of jesus is in this place i know he's in this place The spirit and the bride say come. The spirit and the bride say come. Let your will be done tonight. Let us see your face. To see your face. Once again. To hear your voice. Once again to see your face once again once again in the glory I will stand I will stand and lift my hands in the glory I will receive every miracle you have for me it's in the glory the glory we will receive every miracle 
We accept the heal of the Lord. Forget about your weakness of your body. It's the protocol for an encounter. It's the protocol for an encounter. But tapping into the laws of the spirit that will open us into the vistas of his presence. Edify yourself in the spirit. Activate your organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit. Is the law of the secret place. Is the law of the secret place. When you seek him, you will find him. Outside, participate. The Spirit of God is mighty outside. Charge your spirit man. Activate your capacity to comprehend spiritual things. Let him arise above your needs, above your accolades. of your presence. Expose yourself to that atmosphere, that Shekinah, the glory that changes, the glory that transforms in the glory where seed time and harvest coexist together. Serving the living 
God His name is Jesus Christ He died and rose and gave me victory I have been Come on sing, we're just going to press a little further we are not serving an idol. This day is Jesus. Miracles are already taking place as we're worshiping. He died and he rose. With the name of the Lord. Father, tonight we desire an encounter. Open us up to portals, realms, vistas in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open us up to these deep dimensions. Pass me not, O oh gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Sing it, Savior, Savior, Savior. Care what they are. All other ground is on Christ, the solid rock. All other ground. Oh. Father, tonight, reveal yourself to us. Show us something about you that we have never seen. Put a fire in our spirit. Let there be a displacing of everything that has taken your place in our hearts. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Just sit as quiet as you can. No distraction. Let's keep this atmosphere as solemn as it is. Jesus is in this place. I want to share with you a few things tonight that I believe will change our lives remarkably. Tonight is a night of encounter. I'm not here to preach tonight. Tonight is a night of encounter. There must come a point in your life where you will encounter God not just to be taught about Him. Just sit as quiet as you can and let's let the Holy Spirit pick us in this atmosphere. There is a flight in the Spirit.
Psalm 63. I want to share with you a very powerful mystery. Tonight is a night of encounter. The Lord told me this. Tonight is a night of encounter. Many of you tonight will be caught up into heavenly experiences. I told you tonight is an encounter. Many of you will see things you have never seen before. Many of you will hear sounds that you have not heard before. Help us tonight. Psalm 63. Psalm 63. Psalm 63. Hmm. O God, Thou art my God, early will I seek Thee. My soul thirsted for Thee, my flesh longed for Thee in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. Verse 2, to see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen thee in the sanctuary, because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Hallelujah. I want to talk to you tonight from the depths of my heart. I'm not really preaching tonight. I want everybody to listen. Hallelujah. Lord God Almighty. You know that song? Holy. Holy. Lord God Almighty. There's only one word to There's only one word to describe And only one word comes to When you truly stand before His presence Only one word to describe mm -hmm. holy that's the word holy lord lord god almighty holy Holy Lord, Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Let me tell you a little story about my life. I have been very, very concerned about the way people are being built in the body of Christ. And every time I say this, people misinterpret it for pride or arrogance but the way God trained me is not the way many people have been trained in the body of Christ and I know that something is wrong hallelujah there is a lot of jumping of processes in the progressions of the spirit there is a lot of seeming principles of shortcuts to access authentic power and the presence of God to an extent that there are many people who claim that they are having spiritual encounters but there's nothing about their life so many people lie to us that they see angels and there is nothing there is no reaction in their lives many people tell us they see beings in the spirit let me tell you something 
if you see anything that is outside this realm something must happen to you hallelujah i want to share with you something very powerful i want to share with you how i began my journey in the spirit and how the holy ghost led me and you will see the reason why many people may never find god in terms of encounter there are many preachers lying to people many preachers deceiving people just because of they are not fake they are just not telling the truth hallelujah it doesn't take an encounter to speak english utterance is not the same as oratory you can get oratory by good education you know what utterance is utterance is the bridge between your encounter and the people you want to communicate it to the encounter is so deep you do not have the frame the framework of the lingua franca to help them see the other side of what you are saying and so paul prayed and said I've, I've, there is something in my spirit but how to make you see it pray for me that god will grant me an ability that is not human an ability to make you enter my experience as i speak to you this is what is called utterance there is a lot of powerlessness in the body of christ and now i know i'm not old enough and experienced enough to challenge many things yet let me tell you something i do not boast of knowing all the principles of church growth principles of prosperity principles of increase principles of training and mentorship and building people but there is one thing i know i know the protocol of an encounter this one a man did not teach me paul said i know a man 14 years ago in arabia whether he was in the body or in the spirit i do not know but he said that he saw things that were not permitted for men to utter there were things that john saw and he said seal this don't bring this the people do not have the capacity to take this depth of encounter seal it it's for an appointed time there is a lot a lot of theory and and these theories are not wrong but let me tell you when a man meets god when you hear him there is an anointing that brings you into his experience hallelujah that's what happened prophet samuel was a man who had encountered god saul came into that atmosphere when he entered an anointing compelled him into the prophetic all of a sudden he began to prophesy accurately the bible says he prophesied naked from morning till night and men looked and said it's saul or it wasn't because saul was anointed there was an atmosphere that pulled him into that experience the presence of this man called Samuel. Hallelujah. One time they came to capture the armies. I mean, they came to capture the prophet of God, Elijah. And when they came, the Philistines, I believe, they, 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 they gathered around and he prayed. And the servant was perplexed because see, he was sitting in another realm. His confidence was not of this realm. And the servant was shaky. And he said, oh Lord, would you not bring this man into my experience? Let him see what gives me this audacity. Let him see what informs my confidence. All of a sudden, his eyes were open. And he saw that them were greater than what they are. See, you will never understand a man's passion until you know what drives him until you see what he has seen until you hear what he has heard and the bible says moses was at the back side tending his father-in-law's sheep and he saw a bush the bible didn't say many people saw only one man moses and when he went there he had an encounter hallelujah there are so many people looking for power and and that's not wrong there are so many people looking for power they want the power to heal the sick they want the power to do this and that and that because according to their church growth seminar they were told that if you have power and you have results men will come 
to your church or to your assembly whatever it is let me tell you the truth i'm about to correct some things and set a right very very wrong when i began my pursuit for god listen to me i had no ambition to be a preacher whatsoever hallelujah if anybody would have told me that today i'll be standing taking the message of the kingdom i would never believe it hallelujah there are people already who sit down it's part of their ambition they think it's a profession they are so desperate to start ministry they are so desperate to gather members they've not done anything they have the name of the ministry already they have the name of where the church will be i'm not saying what god gave them they sat down and pushed they have the name of everything their cathedral the kind of bosses that will come nonsense and they do not know the person that they are going to represent can i tell you something almost everybody god called was on his way running away from god's presence if you really know what ministry is hallelujah this is the reason why many people do not experience the presence of god and every time they find a man who has followed the protocol of an encounter they begin to bring all sorts of criticisms because certain possibilities do not exist in their life and they do not know that there is a price it's more than bible college it's more than theological seminary it's more than longevity around the church building hallelujah are you hearing what i'm saying i began to seek god with so much passion listen i remember i will never forget second of december 2002 i was sleeping in the night and a man walked into my room sleeping and all of a sudden i felt it not in a vision i was not in any vision i was i, I was i was conscious of myself and he tapped me i felt the tap of a man and i was alone i was shocked i was afraid all of a sudden i turned i didn't see any man but it left an experience it was as if it was like a force at once i knew things i did not learn i started crying until morning i felt i felt filthy i felt unclean practically unclean it wasn't because i was fornicating or doing any bad thing a presence a realm was introduced to my life that rattled my theology rattled everything that i had known for days i was crying i could not even eat let me tell you the truth i was sobbing and crying i was not in control of the tears i didn't understand the presence of god do you know because of that the passion that was in my spirit i got a notebook i still have the notebook i wrote a letter to all my friends my extended family in the village that was all i knew it was a letter on rapture that jesus was coming and everyone needed to pay attention that was all that i knew there was such a passion for souls not ministry not power not healing not deliverance not prosperity not money not influence souls the heartbeat of the father god hides himself in light he will give you a glimpse and hide himself so that you will look for him hallelujah i i always waited for the night time where everybody would go and sleep and then i would wake up and these encounters i kept writing letters i carried a bulk of my clothes i told my mother to give me a bulk of her clothes and a number of people i called my brother who was then studying in shika came home and we prayed on the clothes i drove down to an orphanage home i went to visit those orphans and do a lot of things i wasn't in ministry 
the bible says the spirit moved jesus drove him i didn't even know what the name of that experience was all i knew was that it was an encounter no one could deny hallelujah people would come around me and just sit quietly and within minutes they are sober and they are telling me the problems of their lives i wasn't a preacher i would study the word chapter after chapter i couldn't understand anything at that time i was having very serious eye problem i couldn't even look at light for a long time and i said if my eyes will come out let it come out passion i would cry and tell the lord reveal yourself to me who is this stranger that walked into my room didn't show me his face didn't know anything about the holy spirit hallelujah years before that time we had had encounter the baptism of the holy spirit and as very very small boys we did wonderful things we were not even conscious that the things that were happening were miracles it was dramatic js2 js2 i was made the timekeeper of the whole school because there was something exceptional about my life js2 every day pastor quarter to five somebody wakes me quarter to five without failing somebody will wake me i rang the bell five o'clock on the dot i want you to know that this the quality of christians that men of god are marketing and advertising will not stand the test of time they lack the impetus to endure hallelujah and after that encounter i began to pursue god I, I had no business with ministry in fact let me tell you something pastor the first crusade that we had there was no name of ministry we had to come together and a jimmy told me what would be the name of this ministry now i said i don't know god didn't give me any name let's find something i can't even remember the name we use trinity something one kind of name like that just to be able to explain to pfn we are coming for a crusade and now i see a lot of people all around moving with bodyguards and moving with people claiming that they are doing ministry and they mentored the life of very wrong men of god who are out of the program of god don't use cars and suits and english and crowd to gauge that a man is close to the presence of god you will be greatly deceived motivational speakers park stadiums are they anointed but they park stadiums with people paying thousands of dollars to hear them speak it doesn't take too much to gather people hallelujah is someone hearing me tonight and i began this encounter let me tell you something i would pray for days i wasn't looking for ministry show me your face show me your glory oh god that's all i want a time came it was it was a matter of life and death i remember i would go to life way life way and then i had i had <sighs> do you know i would be in the restaurant in community market immediately i finish eating there's one anywhere i hear them playing a tape there were christian bookstores around i would just go and sit down there i knew almost all of them i was hungry i spent my money on books books on purpose i will never forget writing an article about myself if i were dead that's what i wrote that was the article i wrote how people may come for my funeral come for this and that and that i did crazy things hallelujah at the back of Ramat. You know that bush there? They started developing it now. It was at the back of Isarama. That's where I would go and shout like a madman in the night, saying, Lord, will you reveal yourself or kill me? Don't criticize a man till you know the passion and the story behind the glory. God never gave me any assurance 
that I'll be standing and listening to people but he gave me one assurance he said early will I seek you I will show you some scriptures tonight hallelujah I'll never forget dramatic encounters I was staying in Danfodio and I remember what used to happen people will come to my room when they come to it was myself Steve Strings and Andy Amber said we were roommates room 155 old block people used to come in the morning in the morning I was a strange person I could be lying down and the next thing the moment I see an angel Steve Strings or somebody the moment he may just be playing the guitar and something happened the power of God is breaking out people outside the room are falling under the anointing it was a strange life I would climb on top of vet medicine there was one empty place at the very top in the night when people are sleeping I would sit there I had a chair and I would sit there and cry in the night and say will you not reveal yourself to me oh God Holy Spirit, I wait on you. Holy Spirit, I wait on you. Hallelujah. When I was staying in area BZ, I used to seek the Lord. I was staying alone. Well, with a roommate, but mostly alone. And this is where the encounters of my life took another dimension. I was broke. Sometimes I would not have money. But there was a guava tree in front of the house. I would go and plug the guava there and eat it and take water. And say, Lord, I give you praise. And I would lock up myself praying. And then at a point, listen to me. Certain things started happening in my life. I would be praying. I didn't even know it was called the cloud of his presence I stand before God and I tell you the truth I lie not a literal mist you know how vapor is that's how it will enter the room and I was being careful so that I wouldn't dapple into any demonic thing I had to search the scripture and I saw when the cloud of God's glory entered the temple and the priest could not even minister again it's in your Bible hallelujah I'll never forget praying for somebody who had chicken pox God is my witness it was in less than three hours or so the person came back and almost 90% of what he had had disappeared and there was nobody to clap for me I didn't even know it was a spectacular miracle you know the problem with a lot of people there are too many people to clap for you when you have not done anything so it makes us believe we gather around a lot of people who are not passionate about God. I was seeking the face of God with all my heart. Then there used to be lots of fellowships on campus to do a lot of things. I would just go behind Sunday school building and sit down there. And I used the worship that was being played by several campus fellowships for my spiritual... Look, let me tell you something. This is the reason why you may talk about somebody and God will judge you at once because he has a track record of sacrifice. There is, there is, it's like blood on the altar that speaks. Hallelujah. When Reinhard Bonke was coming for crusade, I remember that time I went, I've shared with you the story. Six hours I was standing, no seat. A pregnant woman was standing close to me small time the woman will lean on me i said madam i understand you are pregnant but this 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 whole thing i'm we're all tired here but i was determined my life is a testimony of dramatic encounters i started having all of these encounters and i'll never forget listen one night the longing of my soul was satisfied when Jesus Christ appeared to me I have seen him it's not because I read it in scripture 
this is why i can tell you with authority that many people who claim they have seen jesus did not see jesus there is nothing that left there was no deposit in their life if you see jesus even if it's for one minute something will enter your life that you will run with for a lifetime this is the jesus i saw when saul on his way to damascus met this jesus what happened to him a hardened criminal at once he broke down he called him lord saul was fasting for three days and three nights he was blind the presence of god made a man blind physically and there are people who claim they see jesus every day fornicating around seeing jesus stealing around seeing jesus doing all kinds of things they say they are seeing jesus that's not the jesus i saw that's not the jesus i saw for when you see him when zechariah saw just an angel an angel he made zechariah dumb an angel hallelujah when i saw jesus i was flat on the ground goodness i'm telling you i looked like a speck of dust in this majestic i could not believe that this was the man preachers were trying to represent when you meet jesus it will change your life it will overhaul your priority about ministry it will no longer be an issue of denomination or an issue of sect an issue of i was this i was that when you meet jesus it will rattle your your whole theology to its foundation i felt as if i was a dead man i could not even see his face let me tell you the truth it was the brightness the i i i don't know how to begin to explain it to you and he stood there his robe was white it was not like physical clothes that you can see like this it was like clothes but it was like the clothes was attached to the person's body so it's not like something you remove and put back it's not our concept of clothes no hallelujah and light brothers and sisters light was emanating from him the christ and all he did to me was to stretch his hands towards me and he stretched that giant hand imagine like stretching an, an aircraft over a fly that was how it was and light light that i cannot explain that light came upon me i don't know how god did it that he did not kill me when i got up from that vision there was a fire in my bones that i will live and die for i've been captured by your love i can't explain now you have me and i'm forever changed i've abandoned everything i've ever known and i surrender this life is not my own i belong to you i belong to you i belong to you i belong to you nobody coerced me i surrendered my heart this one is different from coming to do this funny born again thing that people do in church people just march and come out lord jesus lord jesus and he's pinching his neighbor i surrender all i surrender all immediately he finishes the the boyfriend or whoever is waiting for the person and then they ask him are you born again and the brother or the sister they mean to say have you ever come out they say yes now i've even been baptized come on now let me tell you there are many people who think they are saved and god does not know them i know some of you will be angry for this statement i'm making 
Christianity with no transformation impossible except it's not the, the Christ that died for our sins hallelujah this was the vision that opened me up into ministry I had been seeing a lot of encounters listen somebody was pursuing me and I went and I stood somewhere in a room all of a sudden I was moved to look through the window when I looked through that window I saw an endless sea of people it was it was as far as my eyes could see and they were talking they were lamenting it was a crowd of people hallelujah after seasons of trainings and buildings and their sound started zooming to my ears and then eventually it looked like they zoomed those who were in front and I had them, it was, a, it was a sound of languishing and pain. It was not a sound of celebration. The people were crying and languishing in pain. And this was what they said. They looked at me and they said, there's no food and no water. All of a sudden in the vision, it became like I had the keys to the storehouse of that entire crowd of people. I was holding the keys. And I told them, I asked them, I said who is the cause why you do not have food and water and they said you are the one and I said oh my god I was moved with compassion I started crying and I told them I'm coming right away to help you but there were people who had chased me and I was afraid of them but I took the step to open the door when I opened the door there was a gigantic man waiting for me and he was in the similitude of the Holy Spirit he now held my hands and he said let's walk together I will walk with you in this journey are you getting the point then he began to walk with me we were to jump from building to building just like structures like you have the students hostel at the top from one end to the other and he jumped to the other side and he sat down there was a small ladder that connected the buildings and I was trying to walk slowly and he was looking at me and laughing and that was how I woke up all of a sudden my life changed I would be in a meeting and would hold hands together just to share the grace quietly seated here and people in rows who fall under the anointing and I could not understand I would stay in the secret place praying and building people would come to look for me the way they would know I'm around is that a great distance before they arrive people would not be able to cross that circumference what is your experience like you who has already called yourself pastor what is your experience what message do you have to give your generation that's why we do a lot of copying and pasting a lot of copy and and all kinds of things we preach messages without power without transformation because they do not come from a depth of truth you're beautiful you're beautiful every time you see me worship him every time you see me do the things that i do let me tell you something whenever there is any seed of pride in me it doesn't take a long time for god to copy it. there are too many encounters in my life all it takes is for god to refresh any of them any of them breaks me down many of you do not have encounters that's why a man of god will keep moving he's falling but he cannot see there's no encounter to remind him of where he was coming from and you can begin to sleep around with members of the church enjoy prosperity when jeeps start coming and cars start coming whether you pray or not you preach well let me tell you the truth the army that god is raising is an army that understand the one they are representing they know him they've had an encounter with him that's the only condition to be able to die for him it's impossible to die for a man you do not know it's impossible to die for a man you cannot you cannot relate with angels bow before you it's beautiful there have been so many encounters in my life one time i was in a vision and there was it was outside all the doors were closed all the shops were closed it was like a community 
and I saw people sitting down, sick people all around, and I was looking at them. And I said, where are the doctors? Where is the hospital? These people are dying. What is all this? I was shouting, speaking to the air. The people were so weak and helpless, they could not even talk to me. And then I heard a voice that spoke to me from heaven. He said, go and heal them. Go and deliver them. Hallelujah. One time when I was praying, I was worshipping for a season. I began to sense an unusual activity of the presence of God in my life. I would worship and pray and build myself. Listen, I want to give you a very big key to my life. And that night, it was a very deep encounter with God. Hallelujah. And while I was in that place of encounter, listen, the Lord spoke to me and he said, from today, I give you my presence as a gift. This is what God told me. Hallelujah. From that day, God opened my eyes and I saw a huge angel. I had never seen him. And I said, Lord, what is the name of this angel? And the Lord told me his name is called the angel of the Lord's presence. He said, this is the angel that will walk with you. The angel of the Lord's presence. Hallelujah. This is the reason behind some of these mighty manifestations that you see that a lot of people do not understand. I have suffered for this anointing. I've been criticized for this anointing. People have called me all kinds of names. My mother is alive. She came here. You have seen her. My father is alive. I grew up in the midst of people. I didn't come out from a wilderness. My life has been an open book from birth to death. The Bible says, Oh Lord my God, early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. It says to see your power and your glory. This is the passion that is the missing ingredient every time i go for meetings after the meetings you see lots of people coming to kneel down oh man of god lay hands because we have emphasized impartations above encounters so people believe you can take a man's spiritual journey with one laying on of hands do you know that all the people that the apostles laid hands on and the patriarchs of old they had they they went through the wilderness together they saw certain things together the laying on of hands did not rob them of true spiritual experience hallelujah i remember my first encounter with a demon real physical demon listen let me share with you i'm sharing with you i'll put a few scriptures and we'll pray because tonight tonight god is going to give some people real encounters hallelujah it was in chapel one night i finished praying listen true story god is my witness none of these things i'm telling you are stage managed and the generator then they just made that generator there and i was just going to turn to the edge of it listen i saw a real physical demon i saw it with my eyes and he just shouted and told me get back that's what he told me before he finished saying get back i was already praying in tongues it was not premeditated and it just went vanished like that from that time authority came upon my life to cast out every kind of demon and devil anywhere brothers and sisters the ancient knew the value of encounters this is what we do not know especially preachers in our generation everybody just believes i have an occupation okay you studied mass communication or french and you don't know what else to do with your life you just say i sense the, the call of god upon my life now after nyc what will i do I say, oh, yeah, try ministry now i say talk you were a very good bible study teacher you say truly i was they even gave me price you just go and dapple into the vineyard believing that you are going to be effective 
You think so? Go and ask the devil how herbalists are trained. Go and ask the devil how false prophets are trained. Go and ask the devil how witches and wizards are trained. You think it's an ambition? It's a fraternity. It's a sacrifice with their life. They sell their soul to Satan. Those ones have collected the mark of the beast already. Hallelujah. That's why you can stand and tell the sick be healed and nothing happens. There is no experience. Demons are not idiots. They have followed the track record. Listen, something happened. There was somebody when we started Koinonia. He was coming. He was in the occult. I'm sure one, I can't remember his name now. One young guy. He was in the occult. They used to come and sit when people started sitting outside. Quietly. They had seen me. This gentleman was sent. It's just that we don't, we don't share one tenth of the testimonies that happened. It will amaze you. Do you know what this guy told me? I went on a retreat. I remember one time I went on a retreat. The Lord asked me to go on a retreat. 72 hours my eyes did not see light. Whether it was day or night. I didn't even know what time it was at all. Whether it was 3 o'clock. I kept everything 72 hours dry i'm not talking about this kind of fast that you take granite in the afternoon later in the evening you are you can't even wait quarter to six you're already peeling the orange the the type your heart panting after god not looking for power hallelujah do you know after i pray and i finish that experience the day they brought the gentleman to me and i was about to pray this is not an issue of being oppressed that you are casting out the devil this is somebody that is in occult aware he knows you know what he told me he said sir we have been watching you and he said while you were praying he mentioned the place he said for 72 hours in the realm of the spirit their eyes were open and they were watching hallelujah and he was telling me how that they strike a lot of men of God. It's like a spiritual meter. That's why a man can be backsliding and nothing is happening. It's the deceit of the devil to make you feel things are moving all right. Your prayer life has died. Nothing wrong is happening. You are not even studying. Nothing else is. It's like a meter. It will keep going down. 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 You will not observe it. It will just keep going down. One day, the devil will hit you once. This is the reason why you will see a great man. People don't just fall like that, brothers and sisters. Are you getting what I'm saying? Samson slept with a harlot, true or false. Without prayer, he went and removed the gate of the city. That God is showing you mercy over your life does not mean he's endorsing your state. He's challenging you to rise higher. This is the message you will not find in church. Everybody tells people things are all right. Jesus has died. Wonderful. You are now born again. Do everything. Just book in the name of Jesus. Give him all the praise. Shout. Do everything you want to do. And there's all kinds of madness. And hell is raging war. Believers are not sensitive. Hallelujah. one of the greatest assets i have in my life is not revelation it's not understanding it's my love for god and it's like a cancer and i trust god to infect you with it tonight a love for god that nothing can take not power not anointing not influence people call me all kinds of name i don't care what you call me apostle daddy mommy uncle call whatever you want to call me that's that's your i thank god for the honor but there is something that i've seen that nothing in time can take it away hallelujah let me show you two scriptures i saw this scripture in 2005 and it changed my life forever john 14 21 mighty god 
John 14 21 let's read one to read please can we have it from amplified do you have amplified let's have it from amplified the person who has my commands and keeps them is the one who really loves me and what's his reward for loving me it says and whoever really loves me will be loved by my father are you seeing it now i want to show you the protocol of an encounter and i too will love him and will show reveal manifest myself to him i will let myself be clearly seen by him and make myself real to him is that in your bible there is a protocol god does not just reveal himself to people because they are crying or because they are praying many people want to encounter god everybody cry even in churches we hold all kinds of three days one week revival you see the poster revival exclamation mark revival two exclamation mark and then another revival three exclamation mark revival 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 and you see the people who are coming for the revival strolling around and coming to sit and the man of god who is now supposed to bring the revival who needs revival himself will now come with his his, his prepared manual and talk all kinds of stories and people just nod they say mm, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and they now say it's time to pray and everybody just finds a little corner and is just sleeping and snoring at the end of the program they say they've held this year's revival you know what a revival is a revival is an awakening that keeps a city and a community stand still we don't read a lot of history we don't read a lot of where we are coming from the world's revival was so powerful that men will carry the newspaper as soon as they start reading the newspaper revival will start in their house what is our concept of revival the average young person in this generation cannot define what a revival is we have not seen it what is our concept of christianity what do we really want to achieve ask the average believer why do you go to church it tells you to go and worship what is that it's just because we grew up knowing that you are a christian and it's good for you to go to church second corinthians or first corinthians lord we bless you the lord is redefining someone's christianity tonight removing the things that are unnecessary verse 9 first corinthians 2 verse 9 but as it is written i have not seen nor ear heard neither has it entered into the heart of man the things which god has prepared for who them that love him not them that pray to him not them that want to serve him them that love god let me tell you this is the missing ingredient in the body of christ it's not rema we have enough revelation there are powerful men and women of god i attest to it in nigeria in africa in the world there are people who have explored the portals of revelation back to back what we lack is love and when i say love i don't just mean love by giving i mean passion and priority god has very little priority in our generation let me tell you the truth very little priority very little there are few parents the average parent in nigeria they believe in god but god is not a priority hallelujah ask the average young man what his pursuit is either to go to school or to go and serve or to get a wife or to get some kinds of things imagine imagine this is the whole circumference 
of our Christian pursuit. Ask a man of God, what are you seeking? He tells you by the grace of God, we should grow to 10,000 and 15,000 and then have our own auditorium, have our own buses, start making our own calendar, then go on air. Is this our circumference of the pursuit of God? I love him with my life he's my priority i'm obsessed about him and that has nothing to do with ministry it's my default state when i sing he knows i'm not pretending it i love him more than miracles let him take all the anointing from my life let him take the mean if god asks me pastor and tells me close koinonia close up here and i pack up everything i promise you to god who has created me this would be the last service that's the end of it everybody will feel bad everybody will complain and say why some zealous people even say let's let's resurrect it you can go ahead and face god alone but i'll be so happy and i'll tell him lord what next if god tells me go and join a church or a ministry and be an usher i will do that gladly from the depths of my heart I, not minding anybody's recognition i don't want no recognition from anybody when you see god commit spiritual power to a man ask questions ask questions god is not stupid that's why a lot of people come oh god give me power i want to speak somebody sent me a text he said i cannot imagine how you speak and people fall i want it to i said go and ask god the guy felt disappointed go and ask god i'm not a herbalist i don't manufacture miracles in little dots of 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 oil and, and communion and all of that no we want to jump the process of genuine encounter and intimacy yet we want power that's why i question a lot of what we call power in the body of christ a man who has so much power without encounter is questionable but right now everybody is chasing power power prophetic power apostolic power miraculous power people keep hopping around i've given warning nobody should come and stand in front of my house waiting for any impartation i'm not a herbalist you can come for counseling you can come for koinania god will bless you listen i believe in the laying on of hands we lay hands and we do impartation for all the people but we must lead you into a of desperation and encounter with the spirit say amen two more scriptures let me tell you how you know that god is not a priority if you attempt to live without him it's a sign that you do not need him in your life whatever you can live without is not a priority to you are you getting my point whatever you can live without is not a priority Air is a priority you cannot live without it food is a priority you cannot live without it if you can live without god don't tell me he's a priority to you there are many of us outside inside you are looking at me right now you know between you and god that god is not a priority in your life you may even be in ministry you may be doing very well but is God a I'm not asking you whether you are born again or not. I know you are born again. I'm talking of a priority. That if you are to delete many things in your life, God will still remain. Hallelujah. There is a law in the spirit. Jeremiah 29. <sighs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. 11 to 13. We'll read it quickly. Because I want us to pray. The Lord wants to plant a fire in our hearts tonight and reorder our spiritual pursuit aright. That beyond revelation, we will love Him. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. We know this scripture so well. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Next verse. Then shall ye call upon me and ye shall go and pray unto me 
and I will hearken unto you. Here's the condition, verse 13. This is a law in the spirit. Never forget it for as long as you live. Read it, everybody. Want to read? And find me when ye search for me with all your heart. This is the law for finding God in the spirit. You will never, never have an encounter with God until your all seeks him. If you just seek him with part of you, if you seek him with an ulterior motive, you will, if you seek him because of business or marriage or money, like many of us are seeking God, God will give you the car. God will give you the marriage. God will give you all of these things. We seek different things that God has. We seek his hands. We seek all kinds of things. Here is the law. Write it. If anybody ever asks you, what is the protocol for an encounter? This is it. You will seek me. Look at me. Let me tell you what it means to seek God. To seek God is not to pray. This is what a lot of people have been taught as seeking God. Prayer is not necessarily seeking God. To seek God is not even worship. Because that's what many of us still believe. To seek God is not to fast. To seek God is to cultivate a desire that seeks to make Him the priority of your life at any cost. That has nothing to do with prayer. It is when that happens, prayer can be a machinery to help you get there. Fasting can be a machinery to help you get there. Worship can be a machinery to get to help you get there but in themselves they cannot give you i know someone and he's i think he's one of the greatest person i've met in my life people talk about kings of fasting and people who fast i know somebody who fasted he rounded up last year 400 days 400 days very quiet brother nobody even knows him around 400 days i had the privilege of rounding up his fast with him and i prayed for him and laid my hands when he finished the 400 days six to six for 400 days in my life even in history i'm not saying you should do it i'm just telling you that there are people like that yet you will still see that there are certain dimensions that he has not entered so it's not just about fasting people brag with fasting they they intimidate others with fasting they make it look how many days have you fasted one will say three dry your wet say dry another person said all kinds of things if fasting alone brought people into the place of power some people would have brought the throne of god to the earth and be sitting on it by now let me tell you fasting will not in its own just make God reveal himself to you the psalmist said as the deer pants after the water pools Bishop Oedeko said something he said if you want to know the secret of the hand of God in my life you must know my heartbeat for God I know a lot of preachers who do not have the heartbeat for God I go for meetings and I talk with preachers. After a powerful service, they look at me and they admire deeply the things that God has done in my life. And when they come and sit down, 90% of them don't ask questions. They are just looking for an envelope. And they put offering and sign checks. Where is my PA? Bring check and you, you sign it. You, you really think it will give you an encounter? I believe in giving and all of that we've taught this there and they just drop it and they say pray for me when you meet a man of the spirit ask questions don't just kneel down and say lay hands on me what was the secret of this glory I know lots of preachers that teach well but three days after they are teaching people have forgotten everything they have said but I know certain people Reinhard Bonke is one of them you meet him once your life will never be the same i remember when he came for a crusade 
I think in Makodi, Dr. Paul and Enche said something. He said after the crusade, they should book the room and leave it 24 hours. The room that Paul and Enche slept in. Hallelujah. And when Paul, uh, when, 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 um, uh, what's his name now? The evangelist. Reinhard Bonke. When he left, and then she said they should they shouldn't repair it. He said, All the people they should not come and make it, they should leave it as dirty as it is. And he came there and laid down on that exact spot and said, Lord, just give me the hunger that you gave this man. I'm not asking for power, just give me his hunger. That's how to pray, that's how to receive. That's how to encounter power. You are looking for the wrong things. The hand of a man. The wallet of a man. All kinds of things. Look for the heart for God that that man has. And you've gotten the secret of his anointing. This one, you cannot receive it as an impartation. You must desire and covet and pursue. The Bible says there are many things that God has in store. Hallelujah something happened i think a week or, or two or, i think a week ago i was sharing with the students school of ministry hallelujah i wanted to listen to a message and i searched for it searched for it on on youtube i couldn't find it and i said lord would you help me and i slept it didn't take long when i slept i was in a dream and i went back to my laptop i listen to me true story and someone came and found the message for me and they played the message for me in the dream beginning to end so i woke up listen i had listened to the message and i remembered everything there are some things you see god do for a man and you'll be like god you are not fair god says it's not that i'm not fair this guy has attracted me with so much passion it's, it's a love affair that's why many people stop at the outer court. They cannot eat the hallowed bread. But there are some people, what somebody is fasting for for 10 days, God will carry it as a gift and give a man who truly loves him. There are sisters cat walking all around hoping that one brother will get to see them. Whereas another gentle sister is just saying, Lord, come, let me use you. Lord, I love you. And I seek you with all my heart. And in that seeking, God will just wake a brother who is sleeping in the night. And he'll just wake up. Shut up, up, up. God will say, Keep quiet. This is not what we are talking about. You see that lady? She's your wife. Say, Lord, please, this is not the time. God will say, Have you submitted to me or not? Say, Fire on. Let me tell you the cheapest route to the hand of God. Is force his heart to come to your direction hallelujah that's the greatest church growth principle I know you can give people balloon and exercise book after service you can give them eclairs you can put all kinds of things put screens all around transport them to their houses if your heart does not pant after God let me tell you there are certain dimensions it's not demons god himself will stop you from entering hallelujah you will seek me and you will find me i listened to a very powerful um 26 minutes video about passion and hunger for god and one 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 asian was talking to the people it inspired me and blessed me so much and he gave an analogy he said if you if you lose a i think is it a 10 or 50 cents if it falls in the night a coin maybe 10 or 50 cents and it falls in the night will you look for it if you check it around and you don't find it a coin that is so cheap pastor Will you spend all the night looking for it? But if you have a check of $100,000 that they gave you, not you and your friend, and it disappears, even if it's the realm of the spirit, you will use light and bring it back into this realm. So tell me, is God a cheap coin for you that you search? If you don't find him, no problem. Any other thing matters. Some of us can begin to seek God until a man comes into your life. 
until a woman comes until you make five points or until you get that job you hear people say i'm busy i'm busy you are not busy when your leg breaks and they hang it for three months in shika no going anywhere you sit down there you are not too busy but the one who can protect and preserve you it's amazing how people claim they are too busy for god say i'm too busy i have an appointment go is it not when god takes you there safely i don't mind waiting i don't mind waiting i don't mind waiting on you lord i don't mind waiting i don't mind waiting i don't mind waiting this was the secret of david look at a man called david see all the bad bad things that david did and it was as if god didn't see it go and study the life of david and see how many criminal offenses david committed in his lifetime every bad thing you can imagine stealing somebody's wife kill the husband huh slept with Bathsheba, and when the first child died he did repent he still had solomon with her again at the temple shoe bread did all kinds of things yet hear the testimony god said he is a man after my heart that's why the guy accessed some realms he saw things that were not given for his dispensation to see it was david who sat down and his love for god he said how can i be in a palace like this and there is no house for my god although you do not need tents to dwell in but i will build you a house god said no you you're already a criminal you won't build me a house he said no problem god i love you i'm not offended i will put the money for my son and god said what kind of man is this there is a way you love god that god you you try to force god to be guilty if he does not bless you just love him don't ask him anything it's in his word he says any man that cannot cater for his family you make yourself the child then you come and make yourself like the wife of this one come on now you have placed god in a tight position that he must respond he called the nation of israel the apple of his eyes try to touch the apple of a man's eyes and you will see how his hand will reach to you and slap you and the bible says the right hand of god is power that's where habal is got it that you you can go to a burial ground have you heard those kind of stories a hand will appear from nowhere and slap you and the guy will become deaf so what about the right hand of god that is power when god stretches that hand acts chapter 4 they said that you will stretch forth your hands when god stretches his hands it will clear the way the breath of his nostrils parted the red sea is it that god cannot save us listen i want to give us a food for thought and we will pray the way many of us treat god we are not sure whether god can come to our rescue or not what is a husband what is money what is a car brothers and sisters what is a house what is hiv that god cannot take it away what is ministry what is ministry that god cannot give you increase jesus entered a city and it was noised abroad what is a child that god cannot give you what are demons that god cannot keep them far from your life is the cause of on your life so great that god cannot help you are not the first to go through affliction ah i'm looking for money to marry it's just two months for my marriage keep quiet seven days god created the heavens and the earth how long does it take to give you money are you the first to get married or is your wife did she descend from heaven what is the special arrangement my child's school fees really you've not heard of people that god will stop from sleeping in the night 
to respond to those who truly love him i cannot tell you how many times people will send me texts in the middle of the night and say the lord woke me and said i must send you a seed i must send you recharge card and i said lord what are you doing to me i found a secret when you love him don't just seek to serve him yet emoji don't just seek to serve him yet seek to love him back up the name of your ministry whether it's, it's revival tower incorporated i'm not saying god didn't call you just keep it aside win the heart of god and you will ride on the wings of a dimension of his grace that you cannot experience or that you have never experienced before is someone getting blessed tonight this is a missing ingredient and so the apostle says it this way may the grace of our lord jesus christ we recite it after every meeting the love of god the koinonia the participation of the spirit let it remain with you i love god with my life this is the biggest secret i'm not the most gifted minister i'm not the most anointed minister i'm not the most eloquent minister i'm not the most intelligent minister i'm not the most experienced minister but one thing i can tell you ask god i love him oh i love him with my life and i love him with my heart i love him more than power i love him more than everything i love him more than all of this uh, this swan water and this bottle together with this serviette inside i love him more than this chair i love him more than anything marriage children wife husband mother father if you stand my way with god you already know you have lost that's the end of it do you love god that much god is asking you this question for when you do you will see power in your life you don't need to talk too much we just returned from university of ibadan and goodness what the lord did in that campus humbled me I have seen the hand of God and I see the hand of God week in week out but to see the humbling thing that 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 it was so humbling the wife of the commissioner of police of the state had to follow us to our hotel and stay there and we were talking with this woman till about 12 in the night she wouldn't go I had to be prophesying and praying for her and she gave her ipad for someone to record it she said my husband needs to see this this is the favor somebody has been sweating about sitting from morning till night in an office i want to see the commission of police they say see god he said no 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 i i know how we will do this thing because you think god wants your money i surrender all to you everything i give to you withholding nothing this will be our song this night withholding nothing tonight you will release that isaac withholding nothing withholding nothing sing i surrender all i surrender all Everything I give to you, we're holding nothing, we're holding nothing. I was talking with one of my friends one time, and he said, He calls me emoji. He said, Emoji, you are enjoying, you no? Know? I'm seeing your picture on Facebook all the time ministry is sweet oh you are just changing clothes and i was looking at the person i said look at somebody i've not seen after one year look at what is in his mind you see that that's what is in his mind to him he's enjoying crowds money he said you are rich oh you hear that boss is carrying people and I, i'm in my mind i'm thinking what is what is wrong with this brother because to him he now thinks one kind of magic happened that you came into this ministry because God brought you 
it was a law that compelled you to come there was no guarantee that you would come but there was a guarantee that if i seek him i will find him and when you find him he will find everything he has his power his wisdom his grace this is the secret rise up on your feet we are going to pray hallelujah david Dan, come you're going to sing that song again we are going to sing and we are going to pray listen for many of you two prayer points just two prayer points tonight the first is the prayer of release you're going to be crying and say lord i love you but truly you are not yet a priority there are i i don't know if i have that passion tonight forget about titles i don't want to know who you are in this place just cry to god and the second prayer is going to be a prayer for an encounter an encounter an encounter go ahead nothing sing from your heart lord i'm withholding nothing if you want the marriage take it if you want the relationship take it if you want my degree take it if you want my life take it if you want my ministry my anointing my money i sacrifice it my bank account my anointing take it up I surrender Sing it from your heart Everything I give to you now the lord said unto abraham abraham take thy son thy only son whom thou lovest and offer him upon a mount that i will show you you are going to pray prayer point number one lord where is that isaac in my life that thing i cannot release and let go who is that isaac where is that isaac what is that thing i cannot give you lift your voice and pray and say lord it belongs to you it belongs to you some of you may cry as you are laying it down but let it go tonight let the intellect go tonight surrender it to him I declare that you are above that job. You are above that job. You are above that challenge. There is nothing my God cannot give you. Give him your heart tonight. Give him your heart tonight. Some of you need to rededicate your lives afresh. Outside. All the overflows. Some of us need to rededicate our lives. And say Lord I'm coming back home tonight. I've strayed from you. But I'm coming back home tonight. Holding nothing in. Hallelujah. There are some of us in business that took the place of God in our lives. You want to make money. Anyhow, you must make money. Others is ministry. You are now too busy for God. Too busy for the things of God. He's no longer a priority. Others academics. Others job 
before you got the job before you got the admission God was a priority right now we are so busy for him for others before you got married when you were praying and fasting and dropping offerings everywhere now the husband has come now the wife has come for many of us is your health when you were trusting God dying of HIV dying of cancer dying of a terminal disease you sought God but now that it has gone there's no time for him again we're holding nothing holding nothing hallelujah still praying number uh, prayer point number one you're going to pray you're going to say lord even if you never bless me again in this life you already have my heart the issue of backsliding or complaining will never occur in my life again even if the breakthrough does not come come on lift your voice that was the secret of shadrach meshach and abednego they said oh king we know that our god will deliver us but even if he does not deliver us we will not bow lift your voice and pray lord i know you will bless me but i love you more than the blessing i love you more than my bank account i love you more than my desire to be famous pray Everything I give to you With holy nothing With holy nothing With holy nothing Hallelujah Look at me Job was at a point in his life where he was such a wealthy and a blessed man the bible says job testifying about himself he said in the days of my youth when the secrets of the lord was upon my tabernacle he said i walked upon butter and i sought honey out of the rock he said the young men saw me and they bowed their faces the old men saw me and they stood up that was the position of job and one day the devil went to the lord and said is it for nothing that this man serves you in other words his heart is not with you and god said you can touch everything don't touch his life let me watch and in one day his children went his cattle went everything went and job sores came out of him dogs will come and lick his sores and his wife the first lady of a community became an object of embarrassment all the friends left him and the wife told Job, he said, do you still hold your integrity? Do you still hold your love? Do you love God that much to be a fool? You have become a talk of the town. People have mocked you. Job, you were a great man. Do you not remember when you dined with kings? And Job looked at her and said, why do you speak like one of these stupid women? he said though he slay me yet will i praise him the bible says in all of this job sin not it was not out of his mouth that he uttered anything bad he said i know my redeemer liveth and the bible says job was in a predicament but he stopped focusing on himself and he was praying for his friends when job prayed for his friends the only other person that did that was jesus and stephen on the cross he prayed for the people Stephen and the Bible says God turned the captivity of Job and he had double of everything children cattle what are you going through that is challenging your Christian integrity let me preach to somebody for two minutes what are you going through financial challenge your academics you may be on probation right now you may even be withdrawn let me tell you all hope is not lost the bible says though weeping endures for the night you wrote jam seven times 
and it looks like nothing is coming some of you are due for graduation but you've been kept again and again can i tell you something like job i want you to speak tonight that though he slain me yet will i praise him all your colleagues have gotten married and you're the only one who is not married all other people have gone ahead of you they are even laughing they said they sin and they are still blessed but you who has been righteous for years don't compromise your deliverer is coming i assure you god will ride upon the horse and come speedily to deliver you with holy nothing you may be married and it looks like your marriage is not working you're just smiling around but things are not working let me tell you your deliverer is coming some of you your homes are it's a place of living hell all kinds of war happened here father mother everybody some of you you are the only ones who are saved in your family and it's bringing a lot of challenge let me prophesy to you that if your heart is connected to god there is nothing my god will not give you the lord told me something years ago he said son if you will let men see me there is nothing i will not give you there is nothing i will not give you i have received things from god i cannot remember when i prayed for hallelujah the last prayer point and we'll round off tonight listen you're going to pray hallelujah and you're going to say lord give me an encounter that is bigger than the challenge i'm going through right now give me an encounter that is bigger than the success i've experienced so that whether my challenges or my successes they will not stand your place lift your voice and pray give me an encounter give me an encounter oh god lift your voice and pray give me an encounter open my eyes to see jesus open my eyes to see something bigger than my challenges open my eyes to see something bigger than ministry something bigger than titles give me an encounter that will create the impetus for my spiritual life no backsliding no going back pray i cry for an encounter open my eyes so god give me the vision of the night let me see jesus seated on the throne let me hear his voice let me feel his embrace yeah. you have my everything you have my everything you have my everything yeah, you have Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. You have my everything. You have my everything. And find me when you seek me with all your heart when you seek me with all your heart listen hallelujah listen we are still in a prayer mode the altar call tonight is very special we are still going to pray don't stop praying if you've never given your heart to the Lord listen or you know that you backslidden as we pray to run from wherever you are inside or outside 
just come and be on your knees and be praying there are people god is calling back you know where you used to be don't be ashamed you've never given your heart to the lord inside or outside as we pray right now please leave your seat come out here quickly come out here quickly lift your voice and let's pray quickly quickly don't wait for anybody to call you come by yourself come and cry before your maker cry before your maker cry before your maker say lord i'm returning home tonight cry before your maker Frontier, I want you to cry to the Lord. Give your life to Jesus by yourself. Don't pretend it. You are not reciting any poem this night. Cry out to God from the depths of your heart and say, Lord, I'm sorry. I return home tonight. Let me tell you, your friends can let you down. Your association can let you down. Why don't you give your heart to the one who will never let you down? Don't be ashamed of your tears. Don't be ashamed of your tears. Some of us did not even re realize when we left God. You didn't even realize when you stopped pursuing Him. It's not like you were backsliding. You didn't realize when success started taking god out of your life when failure started taking god out of your life those of you in front cry i know there are some of you inside and outside that should be here whether you are here or not cry to god where you are and say lord i mean business with you i mean business with you i mean business with you beyond ministry i mean business with you i mean business with you i mean business with you i mean business he is supposed to come out and he did not come out he is supposed to come out i mean business with you Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. From the depths of my heart, let everything else go. Let I don't care what it is. Let everything else go for the excellency of you. I won't trade you for silver or gold not for fame not for anything those of you in front keep talking to your maker he's listening to you your encounter tonight will be genuine you will know you found god you will never forget this day for the rest of your life hallelujah our time is fast spent but we are going to pray one prayer that the lord is putting in my heart listen listen the bible says love not the world 
nor the things that are in the world he said for he that loves let's let's look at that scripture can we look at it please we have to look at it first john 2 verse 14 to 17 first john 2 love not the world the word love there is the word eros lost a craving this is what god is going to cut out of some of us there are some of us that love god but we love money you can kill because of it there are some of us you love men ladies you love men more than your life you can go with any man you love god but let a man just come into your life there are some of us women you love women you you can you can do anything for women and a lot of pastors have said it doesn't matter let me tell you if you want the glory it matters i have written to you fathers because you have known him that is from the beginning i have written to you young men because ye are strong and the word of god abided in you and ye have overcome the wicked one 15. whosoever shall confess that jesus is the son of god god dwelleth in him and he in god 16. john first john 2 not 4 2 sorry I was wondering first John 2 not first John 4 he said for all okay let's go back to verse 14 first John 2 verse 14 I have written to you fathers because you have known him that is from the beginning I have written to you young men because you are strong and the word of God abided in you and you have overcome the wicked one 15 love not the world this is this is the john admonishing us love not the world it's not saying you should not be rich we just finished a series on financial dominion it's not saying you should not get married but don't be attached that eros that craving that attachment no love not the world neither the things that are in the world that means there are things that are in this world but he said neither the things that are in the world hear me he says if any man has this attachment and this craving for the world the love of the father is not in him as simple as that next verse for all that is in the world what are the things in the world he categorizes them into three number one is the loss of the flesh is this amplified please give me amplified same 16 amplified for all that is in the world listen the lust of the flesh craving for sensual gratification that is the isaac that some of us need to drop tonight the lust of the flesh number two the lust of the eyes greedy longings of the mind you want the best car in the world you want everything anything your eye sees you want human or material you will never contact the power of god that way number three and the pride of life this is the realm that some of us are sitting in assurance in one's own resources or in the stability of earthly things degrees houses qualifications the bible says these do not come from the father not the materials now but that desire does not proceed from the father but are from the world itself we are going to pray you know which of these three categories belongs to you every one of us in this place has a prayer point for at least one of them every one of us everyone and you're going to pray and say lord tonight i'm not ashamed you know the encumbrances that stop the richness of your spiritual experience your area of vulnerability lift your voice right now and pray pray from the depth of your heart for some of you it's the loss of the eyes 
don't say it does not matter brother it's time for you to take the issue of holiness and purity serious you can't be sleeping around and say it does not matter don't tell me it does not matter who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord who shall stand in his holy place there are some of us who are hustlers you want to make it by all means you want to make ends meet it doesn't work like that pray from the depth of your heart is between you and your God tonight outside inside take it seriously say Lord I repent tonight take over this loss for money is killing me take over this loss for women is killing me take over this loss for wealth this loss for for popularity and recognition is killing me this love for ministry and title and accolades is killing me take it away let there be a circumcision a cutting away hallelujah early will I seek thee my soul longs for you lift your hands God is going to visit families hear me please hear me and some of you will represent your families are you hearing me right now Kapatakaya. The power of God will come upon families. Families. Right now, whoever goes under the anointing, you're not representing yourself, but your family. There are things that need to be settled. At the count of three, all over this building, families be rescued. One, two, three. Papa, Pateka, Karata, Bete, Kerekoba. Baba Tata Lata Bakeria Totokete Bring them out Every family Every family Every enchantment Every divination Against any family Be delivered In the name of Jesus Kata Tabalada Kata Barata Karatosa, Rabariata, Beketori Seke, Mabrikato, Ereka Likaba, Rabariata, Rekoto Seke Tekete, Bekeposhia, by the fire, the fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire of the Holy Ghost, Abatakata. Leka pras kataraka, rakata prakataba, ma pros koso so prekete. It shall come to pass. The burden shall be taken from thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed. Ko toreke, reko toso steketia. The power of God is still falling on families. I tell you there are families being set free this is what is responsible for the predicaments of many families tonight there's no escape the light and fiery presence those of you outside lift your hands all of you outside lift your hands in the name of the Lord Jesus like a mighty rushing wind let the power of God move outside Move outside, move outside, move outside. Families be delivered, families be set free. Move outside. 
Rakata Baba, Raposoto, Regeteke, Raposco Se, Regos Keriata, Mapata Borocote, Ra Ekereketo, Raposke Brondo, Capriata Katashekete. Outside, the fire of God is falling. Son of man, can these bones live again? Son of man, can these families be revived again? Bring them in. Bring them in. Bring them in from outside. There are many of them from outside coming under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Bring this lady. You leave our family right now. You are a demon of darkness. Come out right now. Out by the power of the Holy Ghost. right now you're a foul devil of darkness out out right now out right now come out come out foul devil of darkness I've seen you I've seen you in the realm of the spirit. Come out now. Fire upon you in the name of Jesus. You're a demon of darkness. This is what is responsible for delay. Marriage, no marriage, no this and that. This is not the issue of man of God, pray for me. This is the issue of dethroning principalities over families. Come out. Listen, let me explain something to you. Listen, I've said it time and time again. You can be born again. Your salvation does not affect your family. It's a personal thing. Are you listening to me? These people in front are born again. They are tongue talking. They are not witches. This is the nonsense people carry around. This is about territory salvation these are the spirits responsible listen for delay delay in different things marriages there's a lady at the back this row the power of God is coming upon you right now fire upon her in the name of Jesus look up please look up Satan is very stubborn. He's not just going to pack his load and go when there are people who are servicing altars and covenants every year. Some of you, you're, you are born again. Bring the lady. Bring this lady. This is delay I'm seeing. Look at. This is delay. All kinds of delay in your whole family. Incisions were made in this lady's body. Have you not wondered, look up, there are certain issues that you go through in your life. You pray about it, you fast about it, the more you pray, the more you fast, nothing is changing. Why is it so? Hold on, hold on, no, let that lady not go. Look at my eyes. 
Please dress her. Let's have a lady wrap something around her. Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Try your best. Look at my eyes. Go. Let her go. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus. See. Listen. The Bible does not teach us to sit down talking about demons all day and all of that. But let me tell you something. If you don't deal with the things that are putting themselves as strongholds in your life and in your family, you will be surprised that you can be born again and filled with the Holy Ghost. See, we like telling ourselves lies in church. Me, I don't have time for that nonsense. Are you listening to me? Everybody just wears suits and then we just, and the devil is oppressing people. Who is Zainab? Zainab. Zainab. Please, let's save time. Zainab. You are Zainab. Look at me. The Lord is bringing deliverance to Zainab's family. Come out of her right now and her family. Out in the name of Jesus. You will see a nice pretty lady like this. Then eventually things will not move on in her life. Bring this lady. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. I'm speaking to the spirit, not the person. Don't worry, the spirit is hearing. Look at my eyes. Your reign in this family is over. It's time for you to go now. Now, go. Just let her be. Come. Lift this lady for me. Sweetheart. Your family needs a lot of... Ah, what is this one that I'm seeing? You have an elder sister. Where is she? Is she married? Eh? She lost the guy. It's not that she lost the guy. Because I'm seeing anyone that wants to ask you people out keeps dying. This is what I'm seeing. Look at me. Look at me, sister. What happened to the guy? He was shot. He was shot. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? So now you see this lady and you are happy. Satan. Come out now. Come out, you wicked spirit. Out now. Now. Come out. Let our entire family go. The problem is when you want to deliver a family that is not ready to give up things that are evil, it takes the mercy of God. This is the situation we have here. Now I see you. You will leave this family. Go! I'm seeing a man that is as tall as 20 feet. Go! Now! Kapota kalapa Ranta prosko sete balakatea victory victory is it victory or victoria now what's the name victoria come look at me the lord brings salvation to your family tonight you believe that Bring 
this lady. Put your hands on your stomach. Look at me. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. All right? Are you ready? One to go. You're free in the name of Jesus. I want to pray. Listen. I want to pray for those with heart conditions. Any kind of heart condition whatsoever. Lift your hands. Hole in the heart. Abnormal heart, heart condition. These two ladies come. Come, tonight is your night. You and you. The lady lifting her hands and the lady close to her. Are you friends? God is visiting two of you. Come and stand here. Sister. It's the presence of God. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at my eyes. Two of you need deliverance before impartation. Come out of our family. Right now. Ah uh ah. -uh. Bring this lady. Look at look at this. A lady suddenly comes by herself and now she cannot look at me again. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Let her go. Let her go right now. Come out of her. Come out right now. I've seen you in the spirit. You are going. On your mark, get set, go. Go, go. Heart, heart, heart conditions. Where are they? Please come out quickly. Heart. Just dress this one aside. Every one of you will be visited mightily by God tonight. Heart. Please come out quickly. Hold on. There's, the Lord is showing me someone. You have like epileptic seizures. Who is that person? You can fall down and convulse. Who is the person? It started when you were young. Who is that person? Let me see your hands quickly. I need to pray for that person. Epileptic seizures. Because this is very demonic. Epileptic seizures. Look at me. How many of you believe you will be healed? What's wrong with you? Yes. Heart problem. Come. There is one of you, you had a dream. It was after that dream you started having this heart thing. Who is that? You had a dream. Come. Seek for God to set you free. What's the problem? Give him. What's the problem? There is a day that I was sleeping. In the dream. I saw somebody, the person don't shout, hey, then I now shout and I wake. Since then, my heart, it seems, it seems to me that the heart wants to, I, use all that. I want to give up anytime. This is not heart problem, my brother. This is the spirit of death. Are you listening to me? This one is not heart. You think it's heart problem? Put your hands there. Look at me. Just look at me. Out of him now. In the name of Jesus. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray for you quickly. As I pray for you, just receive. Go back, check yourself. In the name of Jesus. Come out of her. Come out. You're wicked. Come out. Out of her right now. Come out now. Wicked devil.
Aha, I've seen you. Come out. Out of her right now. This one is not hard problem. Aha. You will leave her. Come out. Out of her right now. Out. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. at me look at me just look at me of you who brought sick people please we'll, we'll start ministering shortly but I want to pray for people who please stand up everybody stand up stand up hallelujah the Lord is specifically asking me to pray I'm going to pray you won't come out God will bring you out by himself um, the Lord is showing me people who are oppressed in your sleep in your sleep you are sleeping in the night the severe oppression of the devil whether a man or a woman coming to sleep with you and all those kinds of demonic things the Lord is going to set you free from it lift your hands everyone it should go lift your hands father even as you have revealed this to me in the name of Jesus Please keep the hands as high as you can outside too. Hmm. The gates of evil over lives and over destinies. Oppression and manip manipulations of darkness even in dreams. My God, right now, let the power of the Holy Spirit sweep across this congregation and bring deliverance to those many people. In the name of Jesus, now lift your hands. Kato shatabalakata. Now! 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 Kato shatayata. I give a word of command in the realm of the spirit that oppression goes go 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 bring them out oppression from your dreams molestation in your dreams
all these ones in front by the power of the Holy Ghost be set free right now by the power of the Holy Ghost I bring you freedom an end comes to this devilish oppression you will go you will go 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 in the name of Jesus You will go by the power of the Holy Ghost. You will go. I'm seeing this lady being oppressed. A man is go, go by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out right now. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Out of her. She's free. Leave her. Be gone forever. Come out right now. Out. Come out of her right now. Out by the fire of the Holy Ghost. You are going in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come out right now. Come out. Fire upon you. Fire upon you in the name of Jesus. You are a wicked spirit. Look at this. This is somebody that came happily and nicely. You see the things we are talking about. The Lord Jesus is against you. Fire upon you right now. Come out, ma. Come out in the name. Look at her assuming the character of a man. This is a lady. This is a lady. Out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where's the other lady that came? Now, be gone. Leave her. Leave her. She's free. who are sick you are sick in your body whatever it is you are sick in your body it's time for us to minister to you and we are going to be prophesying and opening doors of restoration in families are you following me now so as the worship team ministers Mosati will play the saxophone as the worship team ministers no 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 hold on she's not done sister look at me come out of her right now Hallelujah. So, if you brought a sick person, now is the time to bring them to the front. Very quickly. Very quickly. While the worship team gives us a song. Wherever you are, know that the power of God is there. Those outside, make sure you are full of expectation. Quickly, quickly, let's have the sick people. Please, ushers, direct them. Quickly, quickly, please. You are sick in your body. You came with a sick person. Especially those coming from outside Zaria. Come and line up quickly. Pastor Jakes, Bishop Sand. Quickly, quickly, please come and line up. Ushers, help me arrange them. Arrange them in lines, please. Some of you are outside, rolling here, it's time for your healing. Hallelujah. Pastor Jesus, edge me. Now we're going to minister to you in the power of the Holy Spirit. Listen to me. As we begin to minister to you, in the power of the Holy Spirit. For some of you, it's demons that will need to go. Whatever the sickness is, just know it's going to go right now. Those of you who are standing, you can connect for your loved ones. Don't be distracted, please. Oftentimes, 
at moments like this the devil will start distracting people now is the time to be sensitive you can be where you are and the holy ghost can be doing his thing with you hallelujah as hands come upon you ah, yeah, 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 yeah. sister look at me just look at me salvation comes to you we're going to begin to pray and minister to you as hands are laid worship him help us hallelujah as hands are laid upon you expect a miracle whatever it is barrenness delay sickness what if it has a name it has a need tonight hallelujah worship him help us please those of you at the side please make sure that you just join us while we lay hands on you check yourself go back to your seat check yourself Whatever is wrong with you, you'll be here. you out with a loud shout you are going out go go now go 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 
on your mouth said go you're free thank you Jesus the demonstration of the authority of light over darkness make sure you are praying Whatever the sickness is, it will go. Come out! Come out! Come out! Out of the name of Jesus. Go! Jesus, go, go, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, your time is up in this body, go. As we pray for you, make sure you go back to your seat, giving thanks and rejoicing. It doesn't matter what is wrong. Fire right now. Come out. Come out of her. Come out. Come out. Come out of her. Out, the devil. Come out of her. Fire upon you right now. Come out in the name of Jesus. Out of her. In the name of Jesus. Go. Your time is up. Over this family. Spirit of poverty. Go. Go right now. On your mark said go. Go. Go, go, go. Go, you must go. Be cast out right now. right now go go go
telling you the presence of God is mighty in this place. Malaka prosata la bakaria. Sheda balara bonga. Zatekrata balara ba. I'm seeing families. The curse of delay. Marital delay. The Lord is showing me over families. of darkness go in Jesus name.
for this purpose was the son of God made manifest that he may destroy the works of the wicked someone has a problem with the left side of your ears the left side of your ears who is that person the left side of your ears is as if there's water the left side of your ears the Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus your hands there. Look at me. Just look at me. Be free. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says and I will restore to you the years that the canker worm has eaten. The palmer worm. Please be sensitive. Everything we are doing here tonight is very prophetic. And I will restore to you. There are two families here that need major restoration. The Holy Spirit is going to bring them out. They will come out by themselves under the influence of the Holy Spirit. Two families. Wherever you are. I subject you to the influence of the Holy Spirit. Two families. You will come out by the power of the Spirit. Leave them alone. They will come out by themselves. There's one more family. By the, by the influence of the Spirit. Major restorations. One at that side again. One at this side again. What is an angel doing there? At the back. At the back. I'm seeing an angel moving at the back. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord moving at the back. They are all coming out by themselves. They are going to come out by themselves. This will be the sign that they are, that is the prayer point I'm talking about. Major restorations. Major restorations. It's the Holy Ghost that will pick you. A lady from the back will start running out by the power of the Holy Ghost. All of them, you will come out. Don't, no, but don't hold her. She will run and come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. There's still one more lady at the back. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord there. There's still one more lady. The power of God will take you. This is a sign of restoration. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. Come out. Take a tele caramos. Everyone that belongs to this category, the sign is that you will run by yourself. You will come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. It's a prophetic sign for speed. The Holy Ghost is bringing speed into your life. Let her family go. Come out. Come out. Come out. Our family must go free. The fire will burn you until you let this family go. These families, mark these families. They will experience major, major breakthroughs in a matter of days from now. Days from now. There are still some people at the back. 
the Holy Ghost is visiting more and more people families for restoration families for restoration my Lord major major restoration hallelujah hallelujah eight eight one one two five two eight eight one one two five two you or someone in your house has that number this is part of the 11 numbers eight eight one one two five two come out eight eight one one two five two And then I'm seeing the last digits of your number again. 774. A Zane number. 774. 774. A Zane number. A Zane number. These families must be free, oh Lord. You are the lady. You are the lady. 774. Zane number. Do you know me? Do you know me? Come out of her right now. Out of her something mighty will start happening now all of them will start laughing this is a sign of victory this is a sign of victory this is a sign of victory laughter all of them will begin to laugh they'll begin to laugh right now laughter is a sign of victory i tell you it's a prophetic sign they can't control it i'm seeing it i'm seeing doors opening in the spirit for their families thank you jesus now listen some of you may sit there you are wondering what is going on in this place right now this is not Joshua Selman. This is the Holy Ghost. This is the Holy Ghost we teach about. Japheth, lift your hands. God is taking you to a new level of the prophetic. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. The Lord is visiting you. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Blessed Jesus. Worship team, hold your hands together. It's time for you all to enter a new season. Hold your hands together. I'm telling you, a mighty anointing is going to come upon the worship team. A mighty anointing. Hold your hands together. It will move from Yinka like a mighty wind. It will pass. Move right now. Thou power of the Holy Ghost. Look at I'm seeing an angel moving. It's like fire. It's moving in a mighty way. My God, let no man stand. Let it move in a powerful way. All across in the name of Jesus Christ. Ushers, all of you come out. Ushers. Ushers, quickly. All the ushers, come out, please. The Lord says to prophesy a new season for you. It will start from this sister, you. The power will start from you and move this side and move that side. Lord, let it be right now. It's not about falling down, but then it will come with power. Right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Take it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It comes like fire upon you. It's setting you for a new season in the spirit. Mark this lady. She'll begin to have a lot of prophetic dreams. It's five of you. The power of God is coming upon you. In a mighty way. Mighty way. Shida Kabbalah Nabakura. Nabakura.
All of you in this row, from this brother to that lady, please hold your hands. I don't know what it is. As this, yes, just you. Lift it up, please. An angel of the Lord wants to walk from my sister with a baby right to my brother there. Lord, let your power move right now across that place in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. media just be seated don't stand up be seated but hold your hands together i want to pray for you at the count of three i'm seeing a whirlwind one two three There is a lady you had a dream yesterday you saw me ministering to you there are not many times these kinds of revelations happen who is that lady you're a lady you saw me ministering to you in a dream that you had please come out there is a lady please let's save time we still have some other things to do Baba. sister you are entering a mighty realm in the spirit i want to open a gate right now Efata, be open An impartation is coming upon you you will never be the same David the Lord is restoring your family in a mighty way and even you the Lord is bringing order to your life there's a lot of chaos your life is scattered very scattered let your life come back to order hallelujah ushers collect the prayer requests please pass your prayer requests quickly gabriel 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 there's a mighty move of the spirit in this place God is just visiting people make sure you don't those outside don't think you are not part of this ushers ushers look at me look at me Leva, come out come by yourself come and stand here Come and stand here. This lady is strongly influenced by spirits. Come and stand here. Just stand and wait for me here. Right here. Stand and wait for me here. Gabriel, my brother, the Lord is bringing you to honor. 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 Mark this word. Go and write it. Huh? In exactly eight days from now, something major is going to happen in your life. Go and write it. Hold on.
bring this lady. Please, ushers, collect the prayer request quickly. Because we still need to prophesy and open up doors and activate the gift of the Spirit. This lady loves God, but has been influenced by devils. It's now time for God to anoint you and take you back to your family. Are you listening to me? A prophetic fire will come upon you today that you will never recover from. Lord, you will never be the same. Never be the same. Those on Facebook are online community. Quickly, quickly. Please, ushers, gather them and then let's bring them. I'm seeing a family. Someone is on a stretcher. A woman. An elderly woman. You see your mother or your auntie or something on the bed. Looks like a stretcher. The Lord is saying I should announce to that person that they are getting up. You are the one? Come. Where's the mic? What happened? She has been sick. Eh? She has been sick. Who? My auntie. Your auntie. Where is she? She's in my hometown. She's in your hometown. Ah. Where's your mother? My mother is at home too. Your mother is at home too. Is she fine? Yes. You need to pray for her because what is happening to your auntie is supposed to happen to her. Let's rebuke it. Do you believe me? Do I know you? Come. Lord Jesus, let there be perfection in this family. Let there be light. See, you know why I'm laughing? I'll soon tell you what the Lord is showing me. I'm telling you, many of you, your family members are going to be surprised at the breakthroughs. Mark the month of May. Mark the month of May. Mark the month of May. Many of you don't know why I laugh. I laugh because of the things the Lord shows me. The sister jumping at the back, standing close to Shade's brother, run from where you are and come. I didn't say walk, I didn't say catwalk, run. You don't know why I'm asking you to run. Look at me. It's the season of speed for your family. Where's your father? Your father is late. You know why I asked, where's your father? Do you know what killed him? Yes. What is it? He was poisoned. Your father was poisoned. Yes. And this is something that they want to do to another member in your family. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Debbie, God is visiting your family, but lay your hands at her back. Just lay your hands at her back. Just her back. The, the anointing is for you, not for her. Just lay your hands at her back. Father, visit her right now. Visit her in a mighty way. It's not you, I'm not ministering to you. This is the person I'm ministering to. This. God is bringing financial restoration for your family, Debbie. You have suffered a great deal. Financial restoration. Now it's time for you to be ministered to. Too. Restoration in the name of Jesus. How many of you believe what God is doing in this place tonight? As soon as we pray on this request to the ministers, many of you by now know that every time we agree on requests like this, miracles erupt. Many of you, as we are praying, your prayer points, you will start receiving the answers right where you are. Hallelujah. Sas, let me invite the servants of God, please. Jake's cup. this request we are not opening it what I'm seeing here marriage for your sister the Lord says it won't pass this year this request I don't know who has it marriage for your sister I'm seeing a lady hold on Kai what is this before we pray someone in your family has stomach started protruding 
people even thought she was pregnant. It's not pregnancy. Who is the person? Come out. Ah, this is satanical. Who is the person? There's someone, somebody's stomach. In, no, 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 no. This, you, you are not, I'm seeing the lady, like um, what they call it, this lady's hair. But this type that is, how do I describe it now? Help me, Holy Spirit. Where? Who is the person, please? Someone's stomach is a lady in your family. It's coming out. They're even thinking she's pregnant. You think she's not pregnant. Hurry up, my sister. Let's save time. Who is that? You or someone in your family? Someone in your family. You believe in Jesus? Very well. Look at me. Look at me. Very well. And you believe you help your family. Because, my dear, there is a lot of salvation that needs to happen in your family first. A hmm? lot of salvation. You too. You were scared? Why? This is a family. Please, when you, when you hear a word, don't be scared. Hmm? Madam, why are you out for who? Eh? What is this? Okay. That has... Lord, we bring perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands towards a prayer request, sirs. Honestly, I want you to believe. Stretch your hands. It doesn't matter how impossible the requests are. Just stretch your hands. Lord, in the name of Jesus, the Egyptians that we see today will not see them anymore forever. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Stretch your hands. Make sure you are praying. I hope this is all the request. Father, in the name of Jesus. Answers have been released. Answers have been released. I'm seeing answers like light being released from these requests. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Miracle marriages, oh God. Miracle jobs. Academic breakthroughs. Financial breakthroughs. Salvations of loved ones. Completion of projects. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for we know that the requests here are not beyond your power. Thank you, for we shall begin to celebrate the answers even from tonight in the name of jesus none of the requests here your hand will not bypass them in the name of jesus thank you for great miracles in families and in the lives of individuals in the mighty name of jesus thank you jesus in jesus name we pray celebrate jesus with you. Now just give me a few minutes and we'll be out. Somebody's story is about to change forever.
Believe me. Mosax, come please. Let's do this. Just blow. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands. Fire upon you right now. Everywhere in this building. An impartation. An impartation. An impartation. Let it come strong. From my left, my right, all across this building. Outside. Outside. New levels. New dimensions. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. You will run like Elijah. Let it hit you like a tornado. Let it hit you where you are. Let it hit you with power. Like a mighty rushing wind. Take it in the name of Jesus. 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 So you become unbeatable. You become untouchable. I put a mark upon you. I put a seal upon you. The seal of the blood. The seal of divine protection. The seal of greatness. I put a mark upon you. 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 The mark of the blood. The mark of protection. The mark of victory. <laughs> Lift your hands. I command doors of supernatural favor. Hear me in the spirit. Be open unto God's people. Koinonia, receive favor. 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 I program your spirit. Take favor. Hallelujah. Every uncompleted project in this place, I command let the Lord visit that project before the end of this year completion of houses projects in the name of Jesus every delay in relationship or marriage I cause it to its roots now in the name of Jesus every plague of barrenness 
inside and outside everything called barrenness in your life I curse it right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I command a restoration whatever you have lost in the name of Jesus a sevenfold restoration receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus hallelujah look at me I want to break the curse of poverty over families I always do this everybody look at me I want you to bring out a seed you know that we don't if you don't believe it just keep your seed please bring out a seed bring out something that will touch you just lift it up many of you will be surprised at what will happen to you tonight inside and outside please share with somebody who doesn't have this is not about money this is about spiritual principles please bring out a seed lift it high above your head I praise God for the salvation of families. Lift it high, please, everyone. Please make sure you are holding something. Just lift it. Lift it high. Now watch what happens. There are spiritual and physical principles that bring wealth and prosperity. Hallelujah. For many people, you have done the physical ones. But certain spiritual forces of darkness are keeping the blessings of families just lift it up many of you will be surprised just hold it because that will be your uh, just lift it just lift it now the power of god every family suffering under financial curse just lift it you'll be surprised right now lift the sea to heaven my god like the sacrifice of abel visit it now in the name of jesus poverty be gone I cause failure and poverty I tell you doors of finances are opening in the name of Jesus let your seed speak in the realm of the spirit my God let it be a symbol it took a sacrifice to bring poverty let this sacrifice end it in the name of Jesus it took partnership with the realm of the spirit for the cause of poverty to come in families by our partnership with the Holy Spirit we introduce a new era of undeniable inexplainable financial blessings just lift it just give me 10 seconds god is going to visit people right now all across financially 10 seconds one two three four five six seven eight nine do it my god let your people know that you alone are God and that besides you there is no man. Lift up the seed now. I declare supernatural increase in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray for your seed. Let it go around this universe. Gather its kind and return back to you I command it go around the universe gather anything that looks like what you are holding return it back to you I instruct it go around all earth hear ye the word of the Lord Job says as for the earth out of it comes bread cast your seed gloriously ushers locate them as they drop it Please do that quickly. Let's round up.
I'm telling you, God is going to surprise many of you from this meeting. Believe me. Believe me. God is not a, a man that you should lie. Many of you right now, as the, as the power of God is touching you, your family members at home, God is visiting them. Hallelujah. 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 Look up. Everyone under the sound of my voice, I declare to you that in this next month of May, if your ears can hear my voice, I pray, my God and my King, let it be a season of honor beyond your imagination. I prophesy as one sent from God, if I be of God, I pray that this next month, my God, let there be testimonies of honor it's a season of supernatural exploits. I prophesy supernatural honor. I provoke it from the realm of the spirit. There's someone, your dad is a banker. He was taken away from the bank because of a case. Next month, before now and 14th, you'll be reinstated again. Hallelujah. Now look at me. If you're here, listen, everybody keep standing. And you've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Or you've once given your heart to the Lord and you found yourself derailing. Now is the time to make a genuine commitment. The Bible says, as many as will come, he will in no wise cast away. We're going to give you an opportunity now inside and outside you probably were invited by someone or you've been here and you've seen what the lord has done you've seen the wonders of god and the lord is giving you an opportunity for a fresh start as i count one to five please inside and outside as a family of faith i like us to celebrate such people leave your seat and run out right now everyone one leave your seat and come you are welcome Thank you, sister. Thank you, my brother. Outside, we're inviting you. Come and make Jesus Lord of your life. Appreciate them, Koinonia. God bless you. 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 Don't sit back. There are still some more people outside. There are still some more people outside. There are still some more people outside. My sister, I see you. God bless you. I see you. God bless you. Appreciate them, please. Hallelujah. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Now, look at me. I salute you for making this bold decision. Hallelujah. The Bible says, as many who will come, he will in no wise cast away. This is the beginning of a real journey for you. Are you listening to me? Lift your hands, all of you in front. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Please say it from your heart. Lord Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. I'm unable to help myself. I repent of my sins. I believe you died for me. You rose again for my justification. Today, I confess you as Lord. I receive your sacrifice and your love. I declare that I'm born again. I receive eternal life in my spirit. In the name of Jesus. Satan, you have no place in my life. I am free from every ordinance of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I am free from every ordinance of darkness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Look at me. Thank you. This is the best decision you have ever made in your life. To make Jesus Lord of your life. Now, the ushers will lead you. You will follow them. In one minute, 
and then Pastor Jakes will be meeting with you tomorrow. There will be a follow-up for you. What time, sir? What time? Seven. Seven tomorrow. Please come into chapel. You meet with Pastor Jakes and he'll follow you up. God bless you. Celebrate them, everyone. Hallelujah. If this is your first time worshiping with us in our April Miracle Service, jump like a champion you know you are and run out quickly. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Come on, come out quickly. We want to bless and prophesy over your life. Wow, wow. I tell you, run like a champion. I like these guys. Look at them. Koinonia, are you celebrating Jesus for what he's doing? Hallelujah. 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 Thank you so much for coming. This is Koinonia. How many of you were blessed tonight? You will never be the same. I assure you, you will never, never be the same. You will know that you met the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much for coming. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you